the origins of computing were from weaving machines and the punch cards that were used in weaving machines. We know that there's this very long-standing relationship between textiles and textile technology. There are a whole lot of new opportunities opening up with textiles in terms of integrating technology into textiles. And that can be both for scientific or health applications, and it can also be for creative and expressive applications. With the development of e-textiles, there's a move towards integrating hardware, that is the sensors, the wires, uh, all of the stuff that we think about traditionally with electronics, to see whether that can actually be uh, incorporated into the textile. We can knit a strip of fabric using a smart yarn and if you stick a multimeter on either end of it and stretch it, you'll get a change. When we do basic e-textile classes, that's one of the first sensors we make, is just a stretch sensor. If you wrap a stretch sensor where your lungs are, you could measure the change in lung capacity with breathing. The technologies that we have in the Textile Lab are two types. One of them is to do with digital textile printing, which is basically a big inkjet printer that can print on both natural and synthetic uh, fibres. You're no longer um, tied to the repeat, and so you can start to develop very different approaches to print design, so that you can actually start to print on garment shapes, for example, rather than having to print a roll of fabric and then cut the pattern pieces out. The other area of technology that we have is whole garment or seamless knitting. It works with a CAD system and basically it's a bit like a, a 3D printer except it knits. You may not want seams, seams might you know, chaff and make a garment uncomfortable. For the uh, fashion industry of course is really useful because it means you don't have the costs of having somebody to actually sew up and, and uh, put together a garment. We do have staff from fashion from textiles, uh, but also creative technologies and sometimes we've brought people in from engineering as well, uh, product design students, graphic design students, as well as fashion and textile students. And it's that uh, collaboration and uh, cross-disciplinary exchange that I think makes it a really exciting area to be working in. Hyunjin has worked with us on developing the e-textile sleeve, but she's also got her own practice which is developing uh, lighting systems using textiles. I've been studying here for four years now and then I never explored with these materials before, with yarns, and I love these yarns and colourful yarns. I just uh, drawn to me there, like, oh, I wanted to create something. Different. She's already developed a whole series of uh, very beautiful original uh, hanging lights. Work at the moment that she's exploring in an experimental and creative way, but which she would eventually like to take through uh, once she leaves AUT and be able to develop her own product line with. We live in a creative economy. Uh, New Zealand needs to be more innovative and more clever, so you don't want to separate the creativity and uh, the, the commercial world from research and development and experimentation. Mm -hmm.